let's begin. If you would like to put your feet on the floor and your back against your chair or sofa or wall um, and take three deep breaths. You can close your eyes or you can leave your eyes open. And just notice now if your feet are on the floor or hovering somewhere above the floor to so just take note of where your feet are. And then in silence, moving your awareness up through your legs and upper body, shoulders, heart, opening your heart. Down through your arms and hands, becoming aware of any tension that you might have in your body and breathing into that area. And then I invite you to say to yourself, I have a body, but I am much more than my body. And then moving your awareness away from your body to your feelings. Allowing the feelings to just be. Taking note. Bringing awareness. Breathing. And then saying to yourself, I have all these feelings, I have my emotions, but I am much more than my emotions. And now moving your awareness away from your emotions to your thoughts. Allowing the thoughts to stream through you. Trying not to hold on to them or be encircled by them. And then I invite you to say to yourself, I have a mind, but I am much more than just my mind. I am pure consciousness and will.
And when you're ready, take three deep breaths and come back into the space. Now I'm going to open up the PowerPoint presentation. It's, you don't need to see me, you need to look at the screen. So, um, but you can hear me hopefully. So this is our Acetylase Archives for Beginners. And uh, of course, you all know that uh, Casa Sajoli is located in Florence. And this picture is actually taken, you can walk very, like not even a half a kilometer, a quarter of a kilometer from Casa Sajoli, and you have this view. This is a close up of the view, but you nevertheless have this view. So you're very close to the center of Florence um, when you're at Casa Sajoli. And this is the house, I'm sure you recognize it from other um, websites and things. Um, it's a, a very beautiful villa. And uh, he, there's this statue, bronze statue of him as you go up the stairs to uh, the house where he, the apartment really where he and his family lived. And this is Asajoli meditating. And this photo is on his desk in his studio. So uh, here you have his studio, which um, is open to visitors. And uh, here you can see here the picture of him meditating. Um, this is a picture of his wife and his son. Um, and these, I want you to keep these in mind because this is the, um, what you can find in the studio archive. So these are small boxes and inside each box is a collection of tiny uh, notes that he would have made while, uh, while he was there busy uh, doing his research. So in the studio archive are these, uh, you would, they have a number, each box has a number. And if you were there, you would ask for whatever number box you wanted to look at because they're all categorized by topic. And we'll look at that more later, but I just wanted you to see um, what you would be, what will we be looking at later. And these books are um, in his studio and they were left exactly the books that uh, were there when he died. So nothing's been touched as far as the books in his st study. Um, so you're looking through at his study here, what we just saw, and in here would have been, um, where his son, his son's room, Ilario, and in this room are file cabinets. And that's where the synthesis cabinets are. And in the synthesis cabinets are more um, typed manuscripts, published, published material. And these are the documents that have recently been put online. Um, okay. And this is a picture of a painting of Asajoli when he was much younger. So just to give you an idea, this is Asajoli again, sitting in front of those bookcases that we just saw. You can see the old time phone. This is in 1967. And here he is with the egg diagram. And this is him with his wife. Also, um, it must be in one of the rooms with um, Gabriello Chirine, who was one of his uh, students. Okay, this is the view from the, behind the house. So it's a really, really beautiful place. And here are two people, uh, two visitors to Casa Sajoli. Here you see the box and um, the papers that are in each folder. Each box has a folder. And there are little papers of where they're uh, affectionately called Asajolini. Um, so there, which means little, little Asajolis <laughs> in Italian. And uh, so we'll be looking at these little pieces of paper, which are kept in folders, which are kept in a box. And this is another room where you can, uh, people are, you see the papers out on the table and uh, it's a really beautiful thing to work physically with the papers. And here's, me very a long time ago before I turned gray and old 
And uh, again, you see the folders and the papers and the papers are here that I'm looking at. So the papers, you can get anything from something typed like this to just a word, diario, which means diary in Italian. Um, so there's all kinds of notes. You can get things like this. You'll find things in Italian, German, French, English. And here, this one is interesting because you see the type printing on the back. So Asagili wrote on everything. He wrote on bus tickets. He wrote on, I found things on um, dry cleaning receipts. He just wrote on whatever paper he could find. And this is what you would find in the synthesis cabinet. So these are more finished pieces, typed manuscripts, published articles, published pamphlets. And we'll also take a quick look of how you can look at what books are in Asajoli's library. You can't actually look at the books or read the books, but you can uh, see what books are there. And there's a collection of over 3,000 books in his library. So it's kind of interesting to see, you know, what books did he have on Jung and what language or whatever research you might be doing, you might uh, find this of interest, this resource. So I'll, I'll show you how to access that later. So we've all had our quick visit now to Casa Sajoli. We can sign the guest book, which is on his, on, on his desk. The guest book is on his desk. And I just want to give you these links. We're going to put all this information in the chat box so you don't have to scribble this down at this moment. Um, so we have the archive link, of course. Then if you want to visit Casa Sajoli more extensively, there's like a 30 minute video on YouTube. Um, during my uh, demonstration, you, don't, you also don't have to worry about writing anything down because I've made a beginner's guide to using the archives. So there's two links. One is on my website and one is on the trust's website, which I'll show you later. And also I've been asked to announce, like you can share your favorite Asajoli note and explain why um, they're making a collection of the trust. If you'd like to do that, you can send it either to this, um, I guess that's a Twitter thing, or you can email it to uh, the PT trust um, person. And then there's my website. Okay, so that's a little bit of, a little bit of Casa Sajoli. Now I'm going to take you to the virtual archives. First, I wanna show you this. This is the website at the Trust. And um, they did a really nice job because they actually put the guide on the web on the, on the page. Um, but you can also download, so I'll be talking about all these things, but you can also just download the PDF either from my website or it's here. So here's something I wrote. You can, how to register, how to search. Okay, so I'll be going through this, but if you have a question, you, you really should download this and all the steps are here that I've, uh, I'll be explaining today, okay? Okay, so let's go to the archives. I have to move you all over here. Maybe I can hide you, okay. So we're going to go into the archives. So, oh, first, before we log in, let me say, if you don't want to register and you, you, you don't want to do anything, search for documents or anything, you don't, you don't need to register. You need to register if you want to actually search in the archives. But I'll just show you a little bit of the, of the website first. So this is the, the home page. Then if you go here, to the archive, you'll see it's in Italian, but you can click up here in English is the history of, I'm not gonna tell you all this history. You can go there yourself and read it. Um, but I will point out 
Um, these, are, these are the sections of the archives that we'll be looking at. The studio archive, which I showed you in the boxes, and the synthesis cabinet. That's what we'll be looking at. At the Wellsprings archive are not on, uh, online. You have to go to Casa Jolie to view them. Um, and then we'll be looking at this. Um, this is the historical library, and that's uh, what we'll be looking at, how to access the library, but we'll be doing that later. Okay, so that's the, that's the archive page. Then there's an info page. Again, it, it opens in Italian, but you can go here to get the English. And this is all about the purpose, aim, scope, access. But what is important is if you want to use any of the documents in any of your writing, these are the rules for actually using any documents on um, any, in any writing, any published writing um, that you might want to, uh, yeah, copy the, the documents and use them in. And this, so you should read this if you intend to actually publish something from the archives. And this is a board that is actually down in the basement in the main room where we all meet uh, when we have a group, a large group. And you can see these are different writings of Asajoli's. Um, he, yeah, these pictures are really fascinating, I find. Um, okay, so we've looked now at archive and info, and now we'll go to stru uh, Strumenti Tools. And again, um, this is uh, in Italian on the left and English on the right. And this is uh, basically a biography of, of Asajoli, of Asajoli's life and major life events. Now you can also go to his published writings. So here you have a list of all his published writings. Um, yeah, quite a few, <laughs> as you see. And then you can go here, and this are all the books that have been written or articles that have been written about Asajoli. So you see, we're there in the archives, and we haven't even registered. There's a lot of information here already. Then finally, here are some of the Asajolini, the, the small papers that you find in the studio archive. Um, and these are open to anyone to, if you want to save or copy the image, um, you can do so. You'll notice here is the copyright. These are all, every single piece of paper has been stamped with this. So um, you really shouldn't take it off if you use it somewhere. This is showing that the copyright is the Institute of Psychosynthesis in Florence. But, and so anyway, all these are available to you without registering. You see some are in Italian and some are in English. Okay, so that's the archive we looked at that gives you information about the archive. Info gives you the information about the actual um, scope and purpose along with uh, rules for reproduction. Strumenti tools are, you have the biography of Asajoli and his writings, and then biography, all the uh, articles and books written about Asajoli, and then you have documents. These are free documents that anyone can access. So let's go back home. And if you wanna search for documents, you have to register. Registration is free, but a donation is of course gladly accepted. Um, you should know that all the work on these archives uh, have been, has been done by volunteers and it's quite astounding yeah. if you think about it. Really astounding how much work has gone into this. So here you have in, Italian and in English, it's very easy. Your email, I mean, this, no one should have trouble with this. Um, you might, you need to say you want English for your language, unless you speak Italian. You have a password and you enter if you're a member of the Institute. 
and then you just click register and then you're registered. There's no fee, there's no, there's no junk mail. <laughs> That's a nice thing too. Okay, so uh, we'll go back. So let's say I'm registered, I'm registered. This is my, but I'm going to use a, the Archivio and um, we're gonna go in as Archivio. So, uh, I don't want. Um, this is when you log in, this is the first page you'll see. So what is going on here? Well, like I said, you have the Archi, this is in Italian, Archivio Studio. Um, so these are all the little papers in the box, in the folders, in the boxes, okay. Um, and this is um, the synthesis cabinets. And you'll see there's a cabinet in Italian, French, English, German, Japanese, even Dutch. Okay, so they're first categorized by language. All right. Um, so uh, you have uh, a search field, um, but let's, yeah, so let's just start. This is the easiest place to start, really. So I wonder if um, someone would like me to search on something. You can put it in the chat and Kim will, let's see, maybe I can see the chat too. Uh, you can put it in the chat. I don't know if I can see the chat. <laughs> maybe Kim can shout out what I should search for. If someone has something they'd like me to search on. Survival personality from Karina. Survival personality. I don't think that will be in here, but we can look. That's not really uh, an Asajoli thing, but it's something that someone else might have. See, there's zero entries. It's more, that's more of a modern. We could look up survival if you like. Uh, Pe Penny has asked for joy. Okay, joy will be plentiful. <laughs> Thank goodness. You see it's piling them up. So I have it set to show 100 results in each page, but you can, the first thing I always do is go down and see how many are there. You can see there's 374 of these little papers with joy written on them in some way or another. Okay, so you might want to um, narrow down your search if you're looking for something specific, or you can just start on the first one and look. Um, so let's just open it. You see, I'm clicking on open, and you get this little Asajolino, and this is what is so precious about this archive is every piece of paper has been transcribed for you. Um, this is an, an incredible amount of work um, to do this. So what I just did was I uh, clicked on it and I get this little box with a zoom. I can zoom in, zoom out. And then here I see it's only one page. Some are many pages, some are just one page. So here I can read it my, for myself, um, or I can, I can see what has been transcribed, but you'll see that every piece of paper has been transcribed. Catherine. You can see the author, the uh, language, of course, that it's a manuscript, um, that it's notes, that it's one page, and this is the reference that you use if you use it as a citation somewhere. Okay, you can download this. So I can click on here, I'm right clicking. I can save the image, I can copy the image. Um, so you can download these images and use them. Save them yourself, put them on your uh, screensaver, whatever you wanna do with them. Uh, but you see again, uh, it has the copyright on the bottom. Okay, so that's... Yeah. Catherine, I've got two other requests. Uh -huh. um, one is from Rob, uh, Philosophy of Humor. 
uh, which uh, he spotted as you were scrolling. And this, the, the second one is national identity. Okay, can I just oh, I'll go back? We'll go back to the list. See here, I can, I can either move through the list. I will, I will do what you've asked, but just a second. Um, so I can, I can, you know how to use these. These are, I mean, or you can go to the very end of the list. You can see what number you're on. And what's interesting here is I can see what, um, what this is filed under. So this is synthesis, um, psychosynthesis, psychosynthesis, psychosynthesis. This is the box, number one. So if you were at Casa Asajoli, this would show up as box number one, and it's folder 1.5. So it's under a folder uh, entitled synthesis. Okay, we can go back to the list. And there was something here. Sorry, what was the first thing? Um, what was the first that you said, Kim? Philosophy of humor. Yeah. Philosophy of humor. Sorry, um, my, I was muted. Okay. Philosophy of humor. And it was seen here somewhere? Well, anyway, we can we can go here. I'm not sure if it's spelled with the British way or the American way. That's interesting. Sometimes he spells it in an American way and sometimes in a British way. It's interesting. I think it's with a U in it. Okay. Rob's put it with a U in. Okay, so here you see we only have two results, but so let's go open them. Here it's a it's a um, typewritten manuscript that's interesting. So you see here it says typed, and it's notes, and you can open it up and zoom and read it yourself. So you, the person the person that the volunteer um, doing this felt it wasn't necessary to transcribe the note. So I'm curious, looking at this, um, is this Asajoli's writing or is this something he, you see, it's something he copied from this book, The Initiate, Initiate in the New World. And that will be here. Here's the author, the name of the book, the pages that it actually came from. So that's another task done for you by the volunteer. Um, then uh, here's the philosophy of humor. Um, and this is in box, you see box 39 under the folder smiling wisdom. And let's take a closer look at this. So this would be interesting to read and it would be easy to read. Again, it's the same initiate in the world. Um, so you do find double things and it's the same author C.M. Scott and the same pages so it must be the same thing just there were two two of them and they were put in different folders one is in the folder joy and one is in the folder smiling wisdom okay and the so I, I'll, I'll stop here just for a second are there any questions Okay, I don't hear any questions, so. <laughs> not, not, so no. not so far. Okay. okay, thank you, Kim. And the second request was? The second request was national identity. Okay, um, we might try nationality, because I know there's a, oh, you know, this is a, this would be a good, thing to show um, something else. Okay, National, I, I know because, uh, let's see, we'll go here, we'll go back to the main Consult Explorer page. And here you see lists, okay? This is a good example to use to look at these lists. 
So this is the list of what's in the boxes in his, in his study. And this is the list of what are in the file cabinets in Eladio's, what was Eladio's bedroom. So let's look at this list first. So here you see what is in box number one, and these are all the folders in box number one. And it, it comes first in Italian, but then in English. So I, I'm going to search on here. I have a little, I did control F and I'm going to search on nationality or national, nationality, nation, nations. Okay, here, various peoples and nations. Um, that might be an interesting box to look at. Um, I know he also has psychology of peoples. So you might wanna download this list and look at it. So you see he has psychology of peoples and then he goes the North, South Americans, Austrians, Chinese, French, Israeli, Japanese, English. Um, and it goes on, Indians, Italians. Okay, so he did look at national identities um, in this way, uh, but he didn't use that uh, term, national identity. So we're interested in box 68 and 69. So let's go back here. So we're interested in, we, this is, we went and we opened this Archivio Studio. And we're going to go to box 68 and 69. Now, this is a little trickier because you have to kind of guess where is 68, 69. But I, I assume it's under interpersonal psychosynthesis. No. Huh. Social psychosynthesis? No. Okay. Planetary, international. Okay. 68. And here we have exactly what's in the list. Let's look at the English, shall we? So these are all the little notes. And here we can start here. And here it is. We'll open. You can also click on it to open. And we can move through them. This is in Italian, the psychology of the English. And um, this is in Italian as well. But you can see he. Um, here's an English. Anyway, you can look through and see what he, what his feelings were about the identity of the of the British people. Um, this is in French, <laughs> and of course, there's references. So, just depending on your interest, you can see what notes he he made here. If you go to uh, the main, okay, I don't know why this is there. Okay. Oh, you can't. Can you see this screen? Yeah. The Archivio Asajoli? Yes. Okay. Um, so if you go to the archive at the bottom, go to English, at the bottom of this screen, I said um, the historical library, you can click on this. And then you will get this screen. And this is the library index. It's in Italian, but pacienza. So then you can click on, let's say we click on, we enter Young here and enter. And we see all the books that are in Asajoli's library that are written by or about Young. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm working on a book on Tagore and Asajoli. So for instance, I'm interested to know what books Asajoli had um, written by Tagore or about Tagore. And here they all are. So that it's an interesting, so you, you have to go to Cass Asajoli to see these books, but um, at least you know what, what he was busy with. 